In this video, I will show you how to build a robot that can be controlled using a keyboard via Bluetooth using a computer. The first step of this build is to get a chassis. The chassis has to include a body and two servo motors. It can be either bottom line, taken out of a radio controlled car, or made in home using common materials such as cardboard, just like in this robot. I've made the body using cardboard and then cut two circles and attached them to the servos using hot glue and screws to act as wheels. I've also attached a bottle cap to the bottom of the robot using hot glue to reduce friction. You will also need an Arduino board and a Bluetooth module. I'm using the HC06 and I'll leave a link for where you can buy it online. You will also need a Bluetooth USB adapter in case your computer doesn't have a Bluetooth built in. After your chassis is done, simply connect your servo motors to the Arduino according to this diagram I made. The Bluetooth module has four pins, voltage, ground, transmit and receive. Connect them to the Arduino according to this diagram. Make sure you do not forget the resistors since the transmit and receive pins of the Bluetooth module operate on 3 volts and cannot handle the 5 volts current of the Arduino. It should look like this when you're done. The sensor is used mainly as a decoration. I've used a 2 cell 1200 mAh lithium battery for the servos and a 5 volts 1000 mAh backup battery for the Arduino itself. Now that we are done with the electronics, we can move to software. Let's speak theoretically. We have a robot and we would like to control it remotely with a keyboard using Bluetooth and have a nice user interface that will allow us to do this easily. In order to do that, we will need a computer and a software called Processing. Processing is an open source visual programming language that will allow us to receive input from the keyboard, display it on our interface and send signals through the Bluetooth serial port. We will then upload the program to the robot using the Arduino IDE that will listen for the signals in the Bluetooth serial port and take different actions according to which signal arrive. For example, if the up button on the keyboard is pressed, the processing software receives it as an input, displays it on the screen and then sends the number 1. The robot, which lays within the Bluetooth range, receives the number 1 and moves forward, since it was defined in its code that the number 1 means forward. If the right button is pressed, for example, then the number 2 is sent and the robot moves right. If the space button is pressed, then the robot breaks and so on and so forth. You can then add cool features such as turning on LED headlights by pressing the L key. Now go to the description and download the Arduino code. Then open it. After you've opened it, upload it to the Arduino. Make sure that the Bluetooth module is disconnected while you are uploading the code, otherwise you will get an error and it won't work. Now reconnect your Bluetooth module.
Now go to one of the links in the description and download the Shiba Bluetooth stack. It will allow us to turn the Bluetooth module into a serial port we can work with. Then open it. Click next. As you can see it recognizes the module. Make sure you write down your COM port. Mine happens to be 40. You can also rename it to whatever you'd like. Finally double click it. The default password is 1234 and as you can see the connection was indeed successful. Now go to processing.org and download processing. Go to the description and click the link for the processing software. You should arrive here. The first thing you have to do is to create a new folder on the desktop with this name. Now click download. Then simply drag the downloaded file to the desktop. Double click it and choose extract here. Then drag the new files to the original folder. Open it and you should be able to find the processing program. Now this part is quite tricky. Whenever we run the program a list of the available ports appears at the output section. And indeed port 30 is available. But whenever 40 is written in the program we get an error. Well the truth is that you have to see what works for you. The one that worked for me was 11. And it will probably work for you as well. But if not then play with your available ports. Your Bluetooth controlled robot is now done. But that's not everything. If you want to keep exploring this robot then you can also find more ways to control it. Using an infrared receiver I was even able to control the robot with an old TV remote. Just like a TV. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. The links for everything you need are in the description. And I will also be happy to answer any question you might have in the comments. And I will see you next time. Bye.